Well, that was easy. That was a long... Oh! Ah, okay, that wasn't... That wasn't... That was bad. That was bad. What the f... Oh, come on. Welcome back, everybody, to the Achievement Grind, Platinum Hunt, and 100%ing Journey. Today, I'm going to show you the pain, suffering, and just more pain of Platinuming, not just Bloodborne, but the Old Hunters DLC as well. God, if I knew how hard it was beforehand, I probably wouldn't have gone for it. Nah, who am I kidding? I do all DLCs no matter how painful or expensive they are. I'm looking at you, World at War. In short, I really don't need to explain much about Bloodborne because, one, the lore is intense and all over the place, which I absolutely love, but I still am confused on some parts of the story. And two, everyone and their moms know about Bloodborne and this Platinum, so it's time to spruce it up a bit and do the DLC as well. And three, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Wait, actually, I just thought of one. If you guys are new or returning peeps, make sure to hit that subscribe and like buttons. It helps my channel more than you think and puts food on the table for me and my totally real family. But without further ado, let me take you all into the amazing but ugly world of Bloodborne and the Old Hunters DLC. Fair warning, I am playing the Middle Eastern version of this game that I bought for, I shit you not, $8 because I guess the store I bought it from had no idea what to do with it. So I copped that bad boy, and I guess I'm now playing the Game of the Year edition that does in fact have the one and only DLC tied to it. Lucky me. Continuing, I did start Bloodborne just like any other person by making one hey, of the yo, ugliest the people alive, other than chronically online Twitter users. And I soon found myself on a medical table and a doggy coming to say hi. Oh, hi, doggy. Oh. 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 By doggy. But I've played my fair share of Soulsborne games, like Dark Souls 1 through 3, so I understood what I was getting myself into, but at the same time, this is my first time ever playing this, so if I do noob stuff and say noob stuff, just report this video and never come back. I understand. Speaking of being a noob, I took on my very first doggy, and it went as much as expected. Wait, I still... Wait, I still HP? What the f... But don't fret, fans and viewers. This was totally a scripted fight scene that no one can ever get past because it led me to the hunter's dream where I would be spending a lot, and no, I mean a lot of time here. Don't ask. Additionally, this place would give me some tutorials on how to play. It let me choose my first starting weapons, which I chose the saw cleaver first, and the hunter's 9mm pistol. These weapons would be used to whoop these ugly things back to hell where they belong. After meeting the doll face, I went back into the previous section and was able to see the wonderful world of Central Yarnum. I guess I wasn't liked here because I was immediately attacked for no reason. I'm thinking racism, Bruh. but that might just be me. <gasps> oh, calm down. Oh, he comes out here. This could be hard. I gotta get used to it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 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 After a few more deaths from exploring and taking fights I probably shouldn't, I so happened to lead into my first boss fight, and it went extremely smooth. This looks like a boss area. I love the atmosphere. I love the, um... Oh, what the f***? Ooh. I actually called it. What the f***? Ooh. Can I pause? I can't pause. I can't do prediction. Where'd you go? Fuck. I soon decided to attempt to overcome this ugly ass beast again and failed per usual. During this exploration, I learned that Molotovs do in fact feel good to bosses. So I decided to take another route to explore and leveled up some to come back and whoop his ass once and for all. Oh! Are Molotovs cheating? Nope. How did I throw it over? No, 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 no! No! Bro, I ain't got him this far. Yes! 
Okay, I got a little scared. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, the first, the trophy's on the top left. Oh, I'm bloodied up. Around an hour later, I would come into my next problem, Father Gasoline, I mean, uh, Gas Cologne, I mean, Gasoline, or whatever. But this bastard was out to play. Oh! What's that smell? What's that smell? The sweet blood. Oh, it seems to me. Oh my god, that hurts. Oh, what the? F okay, hold up. You're ugly. No! Bro, you hear the bass boost? What the fuck? Bro, the bass boost is going crazy. It's going, whoa. I wouldn't let that stop me. I went back a second time and did better. No, 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 no. I additionally went back a few times with some more failures, and a few of them always got to the last smidge of health, except for one fight. And not to burst my own bubble of happiness, but this was four hours into my stream. I got two trophies in four hours. What the hell, man? But immediately after that, I broke a red jeweled brooch to get a red blood gem for the blood gem contract trophy. A few hours later, I would get a hint that a boss battle was coming up. Well, I think, um, I think we found our next boss. I think we found our next boss. Summon Alfred. Oh. Yeah, we're, it's boss time. And trust me when I say this, but I did not look up any guides for now and just played the game blind. So don't blame me for calling out the script, okay? However, what boss fight was I alluding to, Yoma? Well, everybody, say hi to the boss that literally would not let me win, the Blood Starved Beast. I died to this son of a bitch so many times, and this isn't one of those moments where I get lucky and beat it fast. I inevitably ran out of time tonight and legit ended my stream without a win and only three goddamn trophies after playing for seven hours straight. If depression was in human form, that would be me. Oh, and to put salt on the wounds, famous achievement hunting YouTuber Snams called me a C tier for using a summon in this fight. So now I ended with no win, depression, and one YouTube I will never watch again. I hate that guy. Fast forward to the next day, I felt energized and ready to whoop this dumbass beast ass. I played some off stream and leveled up a little bit so I can stop dying so easily. And by the way, this didn't help at all because I underestimated how much I need to level to actually make an impact. I got prepped, didn't care what Stam said, and brought my boy Alfred and got after it. All right, Alfred, you ready? Let's fucking do this, baby. Okay, here we go, here we go. Alfred, move! God damn it, Alfred. Damn it, Alfred. Oh, yes. Give me that trophy. Oh. Oh, give me two trophies. Oh. oh.
I couldn't have been prouder of my accomplishment. Furthermore, I found my first Carol rune from a box, found the old hunter's workshop, and then found another boss that would stump me for hours upon hours. The Dark Beast, Harl. Uh, well, yeah, we got Defector Anal here. Let's go. Me. Oh, fuck. For this reason, I literally did the exact same thing as last stream and had to end because I could not beat this boss at all. No matter what strategy I went after, no matter how much damage I would inflict, and no matter how many summons I brought, nothing worked. Despite that, I ended my stream and opted in to record my progress off stream because I was busy doing YouTuber stuff. With me even doing this shit offline and nobody to see me mess up and such, I still couldn't beat Parl and decided to explore. Consequently, I found another boss named Vicar Amelia, and honestly, it only took me two tries. And my reaction was so tame because it was late, and I was just done talking on the phone with my girlfriend. <laughs> two tries. I'm not even over level. Bro, absolutely shit on. Oh, get your ass out of here, girl. What the fuck? As a result of this great battle, I knew it was time for me to go after Dark Beast Parl. I went back once and died, but for some reason, something inside me unlocked. I was called a dummy by Stan for using summons, so I decided to take this battle by myself and went after it. No way. Yes! Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh. During this same offline recording session, I met up with the Witch of Hemwick and easily destroyed her ass for the Witch of Hemwick trophy. Plus, this would be the last trophy and thing I would do during this recording session up until the next stream. Speaking of streams, if you all want to become part of the journey or witness the glorious grinds, make sure to come on over to the Twitch channel under Yoma97. I try to keep it fun over there, and I hope you come by. Thank you, but let's keep it trucking. I started my day three off by drinking some tea for my EU folks because this game is one 100% British or Eurocentric as hell. Also, I found myself in a creepy ass forest with some weird hentai looking monster alien beings that were extremely rude and some fat ass pigs too. Until now, I thought I was on a roll with my strides. I was demolishing enemies somewhat and just steamrolling the forest area with a ton of blood echoes up until the boss fight. We found the boss. Oh shit, boys. We found the boss. Oh shit. We found the fucking boss. Okay. We have officially. Oh, I'm in the boss? No. No. I have 45. No. No, 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 no. Oh my god. I didn't know this was the boss. I thought that was the boss area. No. I have 45. I need out. I need out. I need out. No. Yeah, I need out. Shit. No. I can't. I don't have my bone on me. Oh shit, hold up. Move, 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 move. Okay, this doesn't seem that bad. I already got that's not bad. So there's two ones that attack you and then you have a long range one. God, they're fucking annoying. <laughs> I hate that I'm a dumbass, but hey, it can't get worse than that, right? I can just go back to the boss fight and collect my souls, right? Okay. Do not kill me. I wouldn't let that stop me for all too long because I got my revenge on the Trio Brothers and placed them in their graves. Pussy ass bitch! <laughs> what? Wait, is he reviving?
Believers win two times tonight. Woo! Let's go! They win two times, baby! Woo! All right. Sometime later, I explored, leveled up, and found some new enemies to wind up at Vacuous the Spider. That looks like a cat. That's a spider? What the fuck are you? You got a lot of legs. What the fuck are you? Oh, it's a spider. Oh, shit, it's a spider. Where's my boys? Wait, I'm by myself? So what the fuck was the point of a summon? No! I seriously don't know how I keep choking these almost dead boss fights. Why am I like this? But that spider just needed a good old boot stomping because he died pretty easy. And in turn, I unlocked the trophy tied towards him as well. That's it? I hate myself. I hate that I took so long. I fucking hate myself. I absolutely hate myself. Immediately after that, I was with my new wife and we watched the blood moon come crashing towards the earth for some reason and ended up at an area that showcased one of the ugliest dudes I've ever seen in a while. What the fuck is that? Okay, so I'm gonna go this way. I'll come back. I need to spend my points. I don't trust what the fuck's going on. A trophy that is required is Miss Eileen Crow's quest line, but it's for a weapon and a badge we need from her. Overall, you need to either kill her for the badge easily, or take on her quest line and fight this hunter here for it. And guess which one I took? I took the non pussy route because I didn't want to kill her, and I wanted to prove my skill by whooping this hunter's ass. Spoiler alert, I spent over an hour on this guy, poor girl, and so I don't bore your asses with my deaths over and over, here is how intense this battle went. My heart is beaten. Blood Rapture. Oh, Rune Master. Oh, I got a trophy for that. Oh my God, get it. I got a trophy for that? That was so much more worth it now. Oh my God. That is where I would end my stream for tonight. And man, oh man, we made some amazing progress, not only story-wise, but even trophies too. Luckily on my fourth day, I immediately got it started by making it to Kanehurst. But at what cost? A trophy, baby! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Horses died? Oh my god, they did fucking die! That was their whole job, was to get me there, or get me here, and they died? Oh my god! This game doesn't fuck around. Rest in peace, these horsies. Furthermore, I explored the cool area of Kanehurst, met some annoying, loud-ass women, climbed up the castle, and met with Martyr Logarius. Think so. Fuck me, it's a boss. Well... Shit. But hey, one measly death wouldn't stop the yomster. I'm me, you know? Only I know me as much as myself. So I pushed on and got a good fight against this giant ass. I didn't have any stam. Bro, I'm literally spamming circle. Oh my god. Where do I hit? What the fuck? Where are you shooting? This game is throwing itself. Where are you shooting?
My hands are so goddamn fucking sweaty because fuck you, bitch. Man, I demolished that bus. Oh my god. That took what five tries? Or four? Because I started at 110. With his ass defeated, I moved around the castle to clean up with whatever I was missing, found another castle within a castle, sipped for the queen, and ended up finding the choir. Additionally, with this game, you will need to defeat every single side boss, which were the next ones on my hit list, the Celestial Emissary, and that damn Abritus. Fortunately for my sake, my girlfriend made another appearance to help cheer me on for these next boss fights. The Celestial Hentai Alien Boss Giant Thing was a cakewalk. And then came the boss that would put up a big fight, a Breedus. That just insta killed me. Dude, I got insta fucking killed. What is more intriguing is that there is an easy cheese that I found is to basically get in her ass Bruh. and start attacking. No joke. So this fight wasn't as bad as people made it to be. Look at that shit, bro. Crit called that shit. He's literally like, you're gonna get it. Yo, but I can feel it. Let's fucking go. Fuck you, bitch. Ebratus or whatever your name is. Oh, I got two. Oh, wow. Look at that. At this point of my journey, I was so immersed into the world of Bloodborne, I've been reading more about the lore and just learning things constantly. It became an addiction, no lie. Nevertheless, I would be introduced into the world of how nasty Bloodborne can be by witnessing the moon birth a monstrosity thing known as the One Reborn. He just took a diarrhea, and that's what we're fighting, is this shit. Even though this boss fight might look hard, it was extremely easy. I died once because I was learning its fight patterns, but just on my second try, I whooped its ass and sent it back to the moon's butthole where it belongs. Ew, yuck. That last boss fight would be our halfway mark for the trophies. It's always awesome to see progression, hell yeah. Therefore, I was introduced to a new area, the Nightmare Lecture Building, which after watching a good amount of lore videos, this was a very important area, according to the whole Bloodborne universe. So that's cool. And to be the bearer of bad news, your boy wouldn't struggle all too much within these next few boss fights. I was substantially leveled up because I'm a G like that and just knew how to play the game, which the next boss in the chopping block was Amy Godala. I know that's not how you pronounce it, let me have fun. And just like the other fight, I died once learning the patterns and beat it the second time for its trophy and one for the chalice, which don't you worry, we'll get to those chalices soon enough. Carrying over, I found Mikalash the running son of a bitch and easily murked his ass when I finally trapped him in a room. Oh, I found his ass. Oh, I, f dude, I f landed on him. That's it? Did you hear him? <laughs> My God. Huh. Oh, cutscene. As another day was finished, another one had to come through. I would right away unlock the hunter's crafted trophy, to my surprise, for acquiring all special hunter tools by accident. Being so far into the game, this means I've been leveling up my weapons too, which I got the trophy for maxing out my Ludwig Holy Blades to plus 10 for the Weapon Master Award. I soon advanced the game for a little bit and met up with Murgo's wet nurse. And to my surprise, this literally took two tries again to beat this boss, and it confused the hell out of me. After whooping that nurse's ass, I went back to check up on my queen, and unfortunately, there was a tragedy that happened. Need on the outside for all the world to see. <laughs> <laughs> Alfred, hold me. You fucking grinded her up with the fucking wheel. Alfred, what the fuck? Alright, pussy, what the fuck are all of you? No, I'm not jealous. Bro, you're a fucking psychopath. If you don't know, Alfred was the homie that helped me kill the blood-starved beast and other bosses. So now I'm out of a queen and a homie. K 
Can this get any worse? Oh yeah, it does. I'm not gonna go in depth on the dungeons too much, but the chalices I've been collecting are now gonna be used to, well, get one specific trophy. In simple terms, we have to do six chalice dungeons. With each advancing chalice, the difficulty rises, more enemies spawn, and with different surprises. Like there is one dungeon you have to do with your HP fully cut in half. The most absolutely shittiest feeling about this is that the dungeons take forever. It's not only because they are new to me and random, but the amount of corridors and how difficult the bosses are is what makes this easily the worst trophy in the game. And to top this off, we are literally working towards one and only one trophy for defeating Yarnum, the Puthamarian Queen. It's terrible. It's known as the hardest and longest trophy of this game, and they were not kidding. To make this easy, I'll add up all the deaths within each dungeon and time it took to finish them, and then we could easily add it all up together to showcase how long and painstaking it really was. In the beginning of the dungeons, I started out doing the first dungeon in 30 minutes and with one death only. The second dungeon did not put up a fight either, with only 30 minutes and one death in as well. How swell. Continuing, the third dungeon just ramps the difficulty up out of nowhere, like dude, come on. Because by the end of this dungeon crawl, it took me one hour and 25 minutes to finish this and ended up with 11 additional deaths. I also unlocked another trophy called Blood Gem Master for acquiring a rare precious gem. Moreover, this dungeon in itself took more time than both one and two together. And that's where I would end my day six because good God, I still had three more dungeons to go. With a new day upon us, I started the dungeons directly and got after them. I wanna cry just reading this, but this dungeon took me three hours and 53 minutes to do. Oh my god, what the hell, man? But the biggest reason why it took me this long, other than me babysitting my little nephew, was the goddamn abhorrent beast. I could not for the life of me beat this little shit. I would die in every way possible, and just this boss alone would take me an hour and a half to conquer. Next up was Dungeon 5, and oh wow, they added a curveball with this one. This time, you were going to take on this long and hard dungeon, but with half health, and no way to increase it. How wonderful. I come with bad news. I didn't finish this dungeon this stream. I only got to the last boss fight with this annoying ass dog, and couldn't beat it. I gave up. I literally did. I was one second away from throwing my controller through my monitor. I could not stand it. I had currently been in that dungeon for one hour in five minutes with 35 additional deaths. So I came back in my eighth day, and I repeat, eighth day of playing this game on stream to finally finish out the fifth dungeon. However, after nine more attempts and 30 minutes later, I had the greatest run of my life. I low-key broke a sweat. <laughs> oh, hi. You want to congratulate me? What's up? <laughs> What's up? Let's go. God, and this dungeon is still not over because I had one boss left to finally be done with Dungeon 5, which finally comes back to Amy Gadala, which luckily I knew its patterns pretty well, but that didn't mean I wasn't going to get my ass beat. I spent over an hour on this boss going back and forth, back and forth, and back and forth, trying to get some leverage on this boss. Most of its hits would one shot me because of my half HP, or I would just choke. But after all this pain and suffering for this dungeon, I I finally got the chance I needed. I mean, my heart was pumping on that shit. Dude, I got so scared. That last like 30 seconds where he jumped like three or four times, I didn't take a breath. I'm pretty sure I didn't breathe for that whole point. 
This in total would mean I died 78 times on Dungeon 5 and spent 3 hours and 15 minutes in total within a span of 2 days. I want to die in game, which at last comes to the final dungeon with my trophy waiting for me. Oh, and before I get into the 6th dungeon, I had to backtrack into the previous dungeons to get supplies to even summon this shit. So I died 27 more times and spent around 2 hours trying to get it. I'm not joking when I say this, but I seriously hated everything everything about the dungeons. Easily the worst part of the game. But okay, finally, we are on Dungeon 6. I was extremely prepared for this dungeon because I had my full health back and ready to whoop some ass. I took some beatings on a few bosses, but it all led me to the Thumerian Queen. I didn't care anymore. All I wanted was her dead, that damn trophy, and nothing was going to stop me from obtaining all of that. Motherfucker, you've got to be killing me. What the hell? He's floating in the air. Okay, there's new moves coming out that I have no idea what they're doing. The dungeons are done. In conclusion, I started out with 139 deaths and ended out with 297 deaths from dungeon 1 to 6, with a total time of 810 minutes, which means I took around 13 and a half hours to complete all 6 dungeons from start to finish. And trust me, I just did all the math with a damn calculator and got the numbers pretty accurate just to tell you that this was a terrible ass experience. Nonetheless, I would instantly end my stream after getting that damn trophy and coming up, we are on our our official last day because I had a plan that was ready and set in action. I would begin this day with a big boy plan. I decided to get the actual Bloodborne Platinum last so it was more cinematic and cooler. This meant I'm going to start with the DLC today. Besides that, the DLC was actually pretty cool. It really wasn't that hard because I was extremely leveled up and it's pretty straightforward. You get to fight some cool bosses and get backstory on Bloodborne as well. But I would start out fighting Ludwig with his own weapon and I was instantly grossed out from his ugly ass. That's actually grotesque. That is disgusting. His mouth is filled with eyeballs. Other than that disgusting mess, I defeated him pretty easy. Seriously, I think I was over leveled because I was hitting like a train. I'm over leveled, baby! I'm over leveled! Let's go! Fuck you, Ludwig! Piece of shit, let's go! I'm over leveled! Let's go! Ludwig the Holy Blade, baby, suck my ass! Woo! Hell yeah! I would soon find myself climbing up a big building to find the living failures, which were so easy that I beat them first try and without breaking a sweat. I would also find Lady Maria of the Astral Clock Tower and whoop her ass first try too. Man, goddamn, what am I, overleveled or something? Seriously though, I'm 100% positive I was overleveled because I did the dungeons first before the DLC, so my bad, I guess. Moreover, I found myself taking out Lawrence and I could totally nerd out and tell you how important he is and all of that jazz, but we'd be here for too long. Sorry, it only took me three tries to take him out for an easy dub and trophy too, which led me to one of the hardest bosses in the game, Orphan of Koss. And holy hell, this dude meant business. Even though I was overleveled, this sucker still got the best of me multiple times. And on top of that, he is disgusting. Yeah, I said it. He may be an orphan, but using his placenta to attack me is outright vile and should be shunned. Sorry, not sorry. Though after a few attempts and my sight on the prize, I decided to lock in. Oh, you missed? Kind of? Oh, dude, what the fuck? He's fucking charging. God, give me some time. Ah! Let me heal, let me heal, let me heal. Let me heal, let me heal, let me heal, let me heal, let me heal. Let me heal. Where 
Where is he? You're joking. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, baby. Yeah, I shot him. <laughs> Let's go. That was so funny. Had to, dude, I had to. He was like that sliver. I had to shoot his ass. I know. Right? Bumping my heart. I, I know. I was literally like. I feel my heart. With that ugly bastard dead, get it? Because he's like an actual bastard child, whatever. I would finally get the last DLC trophy by acquiring all the old hunter weapons for the old hunter's essence, which leads me to the last five trophies, with three of them being tied to the three possible endings, acquiring all the hunter's weapons, and then the big boy platinum, which counts as a trophy too, or whatever. Therefore, I did the save scum thing where I used a USB drive to back up my save a couple times so I can get all three endings. It's pretty simple and it saves me from playing the game three separate times because if there is anything I hate more than online trophies it's ones where you have to play the game over and over again. The first ending wants you to submit your life which basically ends your game with no ending boss fight. The easiest trophy of my life. The second ending was not so nice. This time you need to refuse to give up your life and make the old man in the chair angry and teach him a lesson. What the f Got you, pussy. That was a weird grab. He's sucking my... Okay. Nice. The second to last trophy would be buying and obtaining all the hunter weapons for the hunter's essence trophy. And finally, I would eat three umbilical cords in front of the old man to unlock the true and third ending. This is where we fight him again and fight a second phase boss to obtain the platinum for this grotesque but amazing game of Bloodborne. He's clapped. Okay. Grabs me by the dick, about to suck me off, but I think I probably resist, maybe? No, I don't resist. Oh, I do resist. Oh, okay. I don't deal with thoughts. All right, here we go. Oh, I did massive damage. Sorry, did that much damage. Whoa! Look at my head. How did I live? Wow. Chat? You guys were here. Look, that's us. Childhood's beginning. Get ready. All trophies acquired. Hats off. Dude, this game... Oh, it's over. Oh my God, it's fucking over. It is. Oh, this game consumed my life for over a week plus. I've put so many hours into this game. If you would like to continue your journey, make sure to click right here to see my 100% achievement grind of Dead Island. Other than that, don't forget to subscribe, like, and follow my Twitch channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.